Hi, this is Asa, and welcome to my audio experience. If the body can get sick, it can also get well. It's about lifestyle, so the choices we make today, they can and will determine the kind of health we're going to have. So you don't have to be stuck where you are. Really, our choices do matter, and the choices matter in, in a lot of ways to really get you to thrive and to to be able to do well. We want to see you do well. I mean, that's that's what it's all about. So our choices, they really do matter. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. What about psoriatic arthritis? What is that? Right? So managing joint pain. I want to talk to a little bit about that. Psoriatic arthritis is no fun. So it's pain involves the joints. It range from mild to severe. Joint pain's a big deal. And although there's no cure technically for psoriatic arthritis, you can control the inflammation that causes pain and it, it can cause permanent joint damage. So you have to really understand and, and look at all that. But managing joint pain's a, a big deal. It really is. So a couple things to think about in that. And one of the one of the keys you have to look at, and this is super important. And I, I, I can tell you that your eating habits are going to be really, really important. Of course, I'm always stressed and emphasize that. Your eating habits are extremely important. One of the major keys you've got to look at is managing the joint pain. And it's going to come from, it's going to come from, from really watching over your overall nutritional deficiency. See if your body has any. If you have high levels of inflammation, that's going to be an issue. If you've got low levels, then that's a good thing. But the high levels of inflammation, that's that's where it really begins to become a challenge. So you got to manage the joint pain. Pain medications for psoriatic arthritis, too, are, are pretty standard. But they're also pretty pretty rough, side effect-wise. So you just you want to do everything you can to manage a good, healthy lifestyle. Like, you're, like cutting out the inflammation, doing an anti-inflammatory-based diet, figuring out what your, in, your individual nutritional deficiencies are. Like even if you have an autoimmune condition or even if you had a, a serious condition that is taking away your quality of life, maybe it's not life threatening, but it's taking away your quality of life, then then it's a big deal. I mean, you want to look at what you can do to to get your levels in your body balanced. It's all about that. So psoriatic arthritis or arthritis pain, your muscles will start to weaken and get tight. Weak muscles can put extra pressure on the joints, all right? They did study at Cleveland Clinic in Ohio. Stretching and strengthening can increase your range of motion and build muscle to help take pressure off the joints. The physical activity is another one. So exercise is important for maintaining healthy weight and strong muscles, both of which can reduce pressure on the joints. The National Psoriasis Foundation recommends getting 30 minutes of moderate exercise at least five days a week. So it really, that's the, that's the key. You know, joint pain makes it too hard to... To walk, bike, or run, and then they recommend swimming or water aerobics. You have to do something like that. Heat or cold therapy is really important too. It can it can make a tremendous difference in in your overall game plan. So you want to look at the hot and cold therapy. Electrical stimulation too is a big one. So stimulation of the nerves is another therapy that can be used to relieve pain. So the tens units are really great too. Those can make a a major difference as well. Adaptive devices are good too. So Many ways to make it easier, but you're, of course, there's there's all kinds of, of devices. There's bracing that can be very helpful. They're, they're actually not uncomfortable, and they can help support joints that need it. Good shoes and arch supports are very important, too. So people with psoriatic arthritis experience a lot of pain in the toes. Neuropathy, which can make it difficult to walk or exercise, that's another one that, that needs to be looked at, too. I also recommend seeing an, arthri- an arthritis specialist or a foot specialist if foot pain related or psoriatic arthritis is an issue. And relaxing your muscles is important to ease in the pain of psoriatic arthritis. People with chronic pain tend to tense the muscles, which actually can tighten the joints and make the pain worse. So but the big thing with psoriatic arthritis is, first of all, you got to figure out if there's any deficiencies in the body. Okay, you want to come up with a game plan of what to do, and that's a huge deal, okay? You've got to figure out a game plan of what to do. Uh, stress reduction and pacing, that's a that's a major one that you have to look at. 
Triple eight two eight three seven two seven two. That's triple eight two eight three seven two seven two. Give us a call or go to the website. One of the keys you got to look at for your health is to realize that that your body can recover. It really can repair and regenerate and recover. The body has an amazing ability to do that. And so the choices that you make every single day, that matters. You don't have to be stuck where you are. I mean, it really does matter. You can you can do everything you can to get your health back, and you can come up with great ways to be able to do that. You just have to figure out a good, solid lifestyle plan that's structured, that's based on your body chemistry. You can't just read a book and say, okay, I'll do this diet. You got to figure out what your deficiencies are because yours are different than what mine would be or for the next person. So you have to figure out what deficiencies your body would have and then build a plan from there. 888 If you haven't found a lifestyle provider, someone in your area that believes just like we do, all this nutrition and lifestyle based care, we can help you find someone. Just give us a call, 888 and we can help you do that. All right, let's get over to Leslie. Hi, Leslie. I like to know. How long do it take the term, traumatic capsule, capsule to get in your system? It, they're all different. I mean, they all have a, an absorption. Depends on how they're made. If it's a capsule or if it's a, um, if it's a caplet, right? So it just depends on on what they're made of. That that really, that's what it comes down to. You got to figure out what, how the how the how the process is made. That's what you have to figure out first. First and foremost, you do that, and then your game plan can go from there. Because that's they're they're really all different. You just have to figure that out. I mean, you have to know that ahead of time. Capsules will absorb quicker, typically, than than caplets. You know for sure. Triple eight two eight three seven two seven two. All right, green tea. I talk about it a lot. <laughs> I drink it a lot. So here's ten life sustaining reasons to green green tea. Number one, it protects your skin. Research shows that green tea or placing green tea bags on your skin can help protect it from sun's ultraviolet rays, can cut your wrinkles down. Hey, that's a good one, right? Six cups of green tea a day. They did a study in the Journal of Clinical Nutrition, and women who drank six cups of green tea a day had less reddening of their skin, and it looked more balanced. It lowers cholesterol. Uh, Again, American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, they found that drinking green tea lowers cholesterol in a big way. It helps manage weight, too. So if you're watching your weight, green tea could be among the superfoods you want to include in your diet. Although research has not found that green tea can produce immediate weight loss, numerous studies have concluded that the properties of green tea can help you lose weight when consumed as part of a healthy diet. Helps with bone health, oral health, prevents Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Yes, I just said that. It's powerful. New study. And fights some cancers, protects against diabetes, heart attack, and can boost energy. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to asarx.com and get your free book today. To find out more, connect with On Call Radio online at inshapenetwork.com. Lines are open, 888-283-7272. So glad you're with us. Check us out on the web. Go to our newsletter and get all the updates and things that we send out. You should. We send you out the tips. I'm starting a coaching system where you're going to get emails and little quick short videos from me each day. We've got a whole system we're, we're laying out for that. So jump, you jump in, get on the list, and, and we'll help you in so many different ways to get where you need to go. So what about neuropathy? It's a, it's a real bad condition. People with diabetes struggle with it. And neuropathy is something that, is, it can definitely be controlled. It can definitely be overcome. Diabetes is one, are one of those major health challenges that people face. It is challenging, none the least, but there's all kinds of protocols that can help you unravel it, too. Diabetes is one of those, number, is, is one of those conditions. We've got entire reversal programs 
uh, completely natural to help you undo diabetes. Diabetes is reversible. So don't let anybody tell you it's not. It is a reversible health challenge. So once you have it, you don't always have to have it. And there's an entire natural protocol. We use it in our clinics. We use it in our coaching systems to help you undo diabetes. Completely undo it. And it takes work, but there's a system and there's an approach to it. If you need help with that, give us a call. But I'm, I'm telling you, the neuropathy, so many things, complications can come from diabetes. Pretty amazing. Neuropathy can, can come from diabetes. And it's where you have pain uh, kind of going down your leg or you can have it down into your feet, hands, arms. But diabetes is a really, really big, big piece that will lead people down the path of having these neuropathies. So what do you do? There's therapy with stem cell therapy that can be used for neuropathy to go in and work the different areas. And you can you can actually get in and undo that. I mean, it really can help repair and regenerate the nerve, the tissue and and support that area. Pretty amazing for what that is so i would look at that because with diabetic neuropathy it's it's a whole different animal to getting what your body needs i mean it really it's all about nutrition but it's all about getting the therapy the stem cell therapy goes in and repairs and regenerate the nerve it's not expensive it can be done as an outpatient procedure it's done in the office and the results can be nothing short of amazing so i would start there and build a game plan around it but it really does make a tremendous, tremendous difference. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. Give us a call or go to the website. Um, let's go to Ken. Hi, Ken. I got a question about my uh, my left uh, hand is numb. Uh, and I am wondering what I can do about it. So if your left hand's numb, more than likely what's been going on is, you know, again, this is this could be a, a neuropathy issue, which and we talked about, but it can be a, a major issue. The base of the neck, there's there's different cervical, there's vertebra, there's a little disc in between the bones, okay, a little cartilage disc, and a little cartilage disc kind of going between the bones, and when they begin to thin and get thinner and thinner and thinner, then they can impact the joints, and what happens is it really can cause things to to work themselves down, and you can have what's called DJD, degenerative joint disease. When that happens, as that begins to thin more and more, then that's where a lot of these issues become, and it really does, it makes an impact in how your body functions. So you want to be cautious with that because it's a, it's a big deal when, it, it's a big deal when that happens. Because it can be undone, but it's going to take some treatment to unwa- to unravel that. And it's one of those keys that you really have to look at and and say, okay, that I, I need help with that. Because it, it, it is. If there's decompression that can fix it. You may need to have stem cell therapy. Stem cell therapy can go in and repair and regenerate the entire area. You can have neuropathy treatment with stem cell, which is in the arm or in the leg. They can produce amazing results. There's all kinds of methods and treatments that can that can help with that, and that's what I would look at overall. But the numbness in the hands can be corrected. A lot of times it's coming from the base of the neck, but it can be definitely be corrected with the right procedure. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. Give us a call or go to the website. Jerry in Long Island, New York. Says, what's a good support for restless leg syndrome so for rls restless leg there's a couple things you got to think about all right rls is is something that a lot of people struggle with i'll tell you that the biggest thing you have to look at is it's usually a deficiency of some type there's a nutritional deficiency that typically causes that and rls one of the big ones is magnesium but it could be potassium it could be sodium there's so many that it could be a lot of could be's <laughs> but You've got to get down and figure out which one it is. And there's some testing that can be done to figure out what deficiencies are there and how to build a good game plan around it. So it's just about coming up with that overall piece 
that really does matter. So that's what I would focus in on more than anything is is getting that balanced out, okay? Because you got to figure out, and, and blood testing will do it. You can get some testing done to figure out what those numbers are, and and then build a build a game plan. It's not hard. You could definitely do it. Triple eight two eight three seven two seven two. That's triple eight two eight three seven two seven two. Give us a call now, if you haven't found a lifestyle provider, someone in your area that believes just like we do. We call them health coach providers. If you haven't found a provider in your area that believes like we do, we have a game plan for you. Because one thing you have to figure out and have to understand is that if the body can get sick, it can also get well. So it's all about lifestyle. And our, our lifestyle providers can help you find someone that can help you that can make the ultimate difference. Because really, you want to build a good, solid game plan. And you got to have somebody help you. Everybody needs a coach. They don't send a basketball team out in the court without a coach, right? It'd be, cha- it'd be chaos. Baseball team, got to have a coach. You got to have a coach for your health. Someone that can teach you. Because if not, w- what's a yearly physical going to do? A yearly physical and some medication, you got to have it. But what's going to, who's your handle in your day to day? Got to have a health coach. We'll be right back. Did you know that you can listen to the Asa RX audio experience on Spotify and Pandora? For all the ways to watch and listen, check out our show page at asarx.com slash experience. To find out more, visit the show online, inshapenetwork.com. Lines are open, 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. What are you struggling with? Let's talk about your health, your life. Remember, if the body can get sick, it can also get well. It's about lifestyle. So choices we make today can and will determine the kind of health we're going to have. You don't have to be stuck. You can come up with brand new ways of supporting your health and your life. We want to help you any way that we can because at the end of the day, you want to make sure you're making the right choices. You want to make sure that you're making the best choices for your health and that you can thrive. Because one of the keys you can look at, and this is a this is really important, is your eating habits and your exercise habits have all got to match. That's one of the major, major keys. You can't be heavy on one or the other. Because I, I talk to people a lot, and they're like, yeah, eat great, but exercise is tough. And then there's other ones that are like heavy on the exercise and then they think they can just kind of exercise a lot and then eat what they want. It, you can't do that. I mean, your body needs certain nutrition to build the right kind of cells in the system and to really do well. It comes down to mindset. Mindset's everything. The mindset's the key to really hit your goals and, and get where you need to be. It's the ultimate key. 888-283-7272. That's 888 Give us a call. Let's get over to the phones and talk to John. Hi, John. I was taking diabetic medicine, and that melanin, uh, uh, my doctor said it messed, my medicine messed up my pancreas, and I was calling to see if it was, uh, what kind of a doctor I'd be talking to and see if there's any help for me. Well, there's a couple things you can, you can, that we can help you with for sure, and one of those, the medications your doctor can can easily manage that one question you got to ask yourself is what do you want to do to help reverse it so if you if you've got diabetes you've been diagnosed with diabetes what are you going to do to unravel it because one of the keys you have to focus in on and really dig in on is can you make the choices can you make the lifestyle choices each and every day to really do well our choices matter so everything you do every single day food you eat air you breathe water you drink exercise you get all that matters to get you where you need to go. You have to unravel your your lifestyle. And to unravel that, you, you, you've you got to get to a place where your body can do well and do it in an amazing way. And that's what we want to help you do for sure is to get a game plan together for that. So 
that's our 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 strategy really when you're dealing with diabetes. Now, there's stem cell therapy that can be done for diabetes as well. I'm I'm all about with what you're asking, I'm all about being proactive. What can you do every single day to unravel the condition? Right? So if the body gets sick, what can you do to get well? And regenerative medicine is is at a, a very high peak. It's 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 powerful. Lifestyle medicine is is proactive. It's it's a it's a it's an ongoing proactive form of care, which I really like. It's hope based care. So it falls in line with what we do, and we want to see you live. But what our our clinics and and our whole coaching system and everything that we do, we do two primary things: we treat people, we don't treat disease, and we give people a higher quality of life. That's it. That's what we do. And you, you do that by your choices. You got you have to learn yourself on what to do. The kind of choices you're making every single day, that's what matters. That's the key. Triple eight two eight three. Give us a call, seven two seven two. Let's get over to the phones again and go to Stanley. Hi, Stanley. Uh my wife and I for the past five years have um had weird uh muscle tightness and muscle knots. Sometimes on the same day, we'll both get balls in our ankles. She uh, most often has them in the back of her neck. Sometimes my back will lock up with them. Um, and uh, they can get pretty bad sometimes. And it's, uh, since we've been in this one particular house, which recently um, a renter told us we had to move out because of mold, uh, you know, whatever, mold infestation, whatever you call it there. Anyway, uh, it's a big mystery to us. Nobody really knows uh, what to do about it. Yeah, so with the muscle tightness and all that, that you're, you're experiencing, sometimes it could just be certain deficiencies that are there. I mean, that's, that's the reality of it. So you have to figure out what that is, what that looks like. And that's, that's one of the major keys of figuring that out because there's, there's certain things that can cause it to get worse and certain things cause it to get better. You got to do some digging, though. Got to do some, some – I would get some blood testing done – to figure out what the overall deficiencies are, where the weak areas are, where the strong areas are, and then come up with a solid game plan from there. Because if not, like you said, it's a big mystery, right? So the deficiencies are going to cause, like if it was mold, you got to see if there's toxicity in the body. If it's like a yeast or fungal issue, something totally different, right? I mean, it's kind of in the same category, but you got to figure that out. Is that a part of it or not? So that's that's kind of the the major piece that you need to be looking at. You've got to get down and not just, there's no hands up in the air of it, of it being, it's like, well, what is it? You need to figure out what that is by the testing. Testing will show you exactly what's going on. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. Give us a call or go to the website. Sleep apnea is a big deal for a lot of people. And if you're not sleeping well, you really, you just, you're not going to be well. Like sleep is so vital to our health. We need it. And if you're not sleeping great, then you're not going to feel great. So I want to, I want to kind of teach and and show you some things that can really make a difference overall for your health. That's one of the major keys. So that's a, it's a huge piece for, for all of this. And I would look at it that way. I would look at it as one of the pieces that you've got to look at, and, and this is, it's, it's not the big a deal, but you definitely want to, want to figure that out. One of the keys you have to look at is you've got to figure out with a study, I think a sleep study, you can go to a, I'm sure if you've been diagnosed with sleep apnea, you already know it, but if you, if you, if you're tired all the time, if your partner or husband or wife or whatever says you snore and you, you kind of gasp for air, you want to get a sleep study done. It, they're so valuable to just see how many times you wake up during the night. All those kind of factors are really important. But what's interesting is that sleep apnea, they're, they're also now finding out that with heart rhythm disorders like AFib, you heard of AFib or atrial fibrillation, they're, they're finding out that obstructive sleep apnea is less likely to have a recurrence in the heart rhythm disorders. They continually positive airway pressure the researchers in New York University reviewed seven studies, and they said active screening for obstructive sleep apnea in all patients who undergo treatment for atrial fibrillation is imperative, as the use of CPAP machines will influence the outcome of the therapy. So the results were published 
recently in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, and large randomized clinical trials needed to be con- conducted in this. They were finding amazing results in it. The sleep apnea and, and several other conditions, including hypertension, obesity, and diabetes, contribute to the onset and progression of the atrial fibrillation. So it's it's amazing and how that how, uh, what that's doing. So the study provides important evidence that we need to identify to treat these associated conditions for more direct efforts to suppress the arrhythmia by the antiarrhythmic drugs and whatnot. So there's, it's interesting how sleep apnea can come in, the lack of oxygen that you're getting. If you're not on the machine that they're using the, the actual sleep apnea machine to help you sleep and get better oxygen during the night and, and improve your sleep patterns and what that can do. So they're saying that now if you, if you treat the sleep apnea, it can make tremendous strides in what you're dealing with potential with a heart rhythm. See, the oxygen is a big deal. And if you're not getting that, if you're not getting good oxygen, you're not sleeping well, you're not breathing well, you're not going to be well. Like it's, it's, it's essential for life. So I would look at that. Now, another thing that's really key, of course, losing the weight, that makes a difference, obviously. But that's a, that's a real key. One of the main focus is, is getting down and figuring out what your overall game plan is. I personally think that you need to look at coming up with some type of game plan to really begin to thrive. And that is a, getting a coaching system with you that can can work with you. So like our coaching system, of course, is is great because you have an, a coach assigned to you and you've got eating plans, workout plans, no matter what your diagnosis has been, we figure out ways to create a lifestyle plan for you so that you don't, it takes the thinking out of it and you just have to do. It's like everything you do every single day is what matters. And you follow that system and you follow that routine to really make the difference in what you're what you're attempting to do. That's the overall game plan, and that's what you have to look at. But I would look at that first and foremost because it does, it makes a difference in all that you do. It makes a difference in in your overall success too. You gotta have a coach. Everybody needs one. I am a firm believer of that. No doubt about it. Triple eight two eight three seven two seven two. That's triple eight two eight three seven two seven two. Give us a call or go to the website. We've got Stanley in Florida, not in Boca Raton. He says, what can I do to support better testosterone levels? That's a big conversation, but I can tell you this. You've got to figure out, we've got specific special testing that can figure out how much testosterone your body's producing, but then there's other cofactors like progesterone, growth hormone, cortisol levels. You've got to do a full profile to see this entire cascade of what it's doing. When you just take testosterone, you're missing a lot because there's other variables that can be making those hormones go up, down, in in different areas. So you have to focus in on that to really get the body to go back into balance. And once you do that, that's when you begin to really, really get into regenerative type medicine. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to asarx.com and get your free book today. Connect with On Call Radio and watch On Call TV at InShapeNetwork.com. Lines are open, 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. What are you struggling with? Let's talk about it. Your health, your life. Remember, if the body can get sick, it can also get well. That's the amazing thing about it. You don't have to be stuck where you are. So that's one of the things you've got to realize is that you don't have to be stuck. You really can do well. So just when you focus in on that, you understand that, you realize how powerful the body is. You don't have to be stuck where you are. You really can come out of it and begin to thrive. And on this show, we want to help you do that. So whatever you're struggling with, we want to help. It doesn't matter if it's diabetes, heart disease, fibromyalgia, arthritis, whatever it is. 
know that the body can change. But you have to want to change. You have to want it to get to a different level. That's what it's all about. Heavy kids now, they're suffering more fractures than we've seen. Obese children, which unfortunately it's very, very high in this country, can break their arm above the elbow or more likely to suffer complex fractures and have complications after surgery than normal weight children. They did a research on this. And of course, it's it's coming down to the parents, how they're feeding the kids, letting the kids get overweight. And the future research needs to focus on modifying obesity in kids. And I agree. It comes down to everything from what they eat, the the programs in the schools now, the eating plans that are in place that can really wreak havoc on the kids for what they can do and, and, and giving them the ability to really begin to do well. That's the ultimate key because you don't want your, your child when, is, when they're overweight, it creates all kinds of of issues that can become very, very challenging. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. If you haven't checked out our lifestyle providers, these are healthcare providers in your area that believe the same way we do. All this nutrition and lifestyle-based care we talk about, always there to help no matter what you're struggling with, we can help. And that's the key. So whatever you're struggling with, just know you don't have to be stuck with it. (laughs) Whatever you're struggling with, you don't have to deal with it. Whatever you're struggling with, just know that the body can get sick, it can also get well. You don't have to you just stick with it. It can do well. So let's get on the phones and go to Annie. Hi, Annie. Uh, my health challenge is I've been on coming in 30 years and also have AFib, slow fibroid, low potassium chloride. So if you have all that going on, the, the first thing's first, right? We've got to figure out, and, and there's got to be a, a game plan to figure out what your overall deficiencies are. And once you figure that out, that's you can really you can really build from there. The deficiencies in the body can range in, in a lot of different areas. One of the major ones you have to look at, especially for something like that, is a lot of the vitamins and minerals. So iodine is a big deficiency that's because under the radar, everybody misses it. And it doesn't really get caught, but yet it can have so many implications to the the body and what it can do. So that's a real a big key of, of figuring out exactly what the why the body is doing that and and what kind of game plan to build around it. So that's a that's a big one. The other thing that you have to look at, and this is it's it's important, is to, to understand from this perspective to to really what's going to get the body well. And that comes down again. It comes down to deficiencies. It comes down to toxins in the body, clearing that out, building a game plan, and then coming up with a structure that can can really begin to to work. That's the the ultimate key. And, and it's not hard. It's just about getting the right tools and pieces together to really to really make it work. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. Let's get over to the phones and talk to Karen. Hi, Karen. Concerning my fingers, my fingers are trying to stick together, and I'm calling to try to find out what what could be causing my fingers to try to stick together. That just depends. I mean, fingers trying to stick together it depends on if it's if it's something that you've got internally going on. Depends on your. I have to get some lab work and look at that. I would have your doctor though run some tests for sure. And as far as like the, the if they're stiff or if. You're, you're noticing a lack of motion, a lack of range of motion in the in the fingers. That's a whole different animal as well, and, and definitely needs to be to be looked at and to be addressed because it's it's a challenge. You want to make sure that's handled and tackled effectively. It's it's a big deal. So uh, the biggest thing is is to figure out what what's missing or what's missing in the body, and your doctor can figure that out with some of the tests. And it could be something simple. It could be a magnesium. It could be serious mineral deficiency. It could be something more severe. But you have to get someone to look at it to make an ultimate decision on it. All right? 888 Hey, if you haven't signed up for our newsletter, check it out. And if you're not watching our television show every single day, it's everywhere. You should check it out. And online with social media, make sure to jump in with us because each and every day now we're doing teachings on Facebook. You go to Facebook Live, and we're starting to do some some really great things within Facebook that I think would encourage you and help you and bring you some bite-sized pieces that can really take you to that next level. 
and, and really get you where you need to go. Plus, if you're looking for a lifestyle provider, you want someone in your area to really take you by the hand and help, then we can do that to help you. So one of the big keys you have to look at in the space is, is having a good, a, a good person to take you by the hand and help and roll that out. And that's our lifestyle providers. That's what they do. We've got coaches available as well. They can help you. They can encourage you along the way and really get you where you need to go. So if you need help with that, just let us know. We're here to help in any way possible. This is the show for you. We want to help you. We want to encourage you. We want to equip you to give you every tool that you need because your health is your greatest wealth. No one can take responsibility for your health but you. Only you can. And with a team like this to be able to help you each and every day, to get you to thrive and not just barely make it. We want to help you do very, very well. Puts another hour in the charts. I want to thank our producer, Jay Patrick, engineer, John Garrison, and the rest of the team. Go tell one person something you're learning on the show. Together, we can transform the health of our friends, our family, and our communities. You're listening to this show that helps you get well, stay well, and live well. Where we're diagnosing hope one person at a time. You could listen to the Asa RX audio experience on Spotify and Pandora. For all the ways to watch and listen, check out our show page at asarx.com slash experience. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to asarx.com and get your free book today. This episode is over. But check episode notes for links to products and services you've heard about on this episode. Thanks for listening and subscribing. Please share the ASA RX audio experience with others and stay in touch by giving us your comment or review.